Hey guys, welcome back to another one more week to go trip report. I'm currently at Taoyuan International in Taipei, and in a few hours, I'll be on my flight back home to Vancouver, where I'll be trying out EVA's Royal Laurel service. But first, let's check out one of EVA's flagship lounges, the Infinity. The lounge is located on the upper level in Terminal 2, adjacent to two other EVA lounges, the Star and the Garden. The lounge follows the new EVA styling with lots of colorful mood lighting on the walls and ceiling. A variety of seating options, including lounge chairs, dining tables, and sofas are spread throughout the lounge. There's my flight on the departure board, BR-10, bound for Vancouver. The lounge was pretty busy when I went during this time, as there are a lot of international departures leaving in the late hours at Taipei. Some lounge amenities include a business center and lockers for your luggage. The food spread is pretty extensive, with a good variety of hot and cold dishes. I personally didn't eat that much in the lounge as I wanted to save my appetite for my meal on board, so I just went with a simple iced coffee and a beef noodle soup. After a quick meal, I decided to freshen up for my flight by taking a shower. There are four separate shower rooms, each with their own unique name. I was in Smile Zone. The shower room itself looked pretty basic, but it came with a lot of amenities for you to use. Pretty soon, it was time to board. Here is our aircraft in EVA 777 painted in the old colors. EVA's Royal Laurel class has reverse herringbone seats in a 1-2-1 seating configuration. I was in seat 6K, which is the last row in the forward business class cabin. Waiting on my seat was the amenity kit, headphones, a pillow, and on the ottoman was a thick blanket. There are a lot of storage compartments, which I personally love as I carry a lot of equipment around. After settling in, I was given a cold towel, a piece of Godiva chocolate, and I opted for just the water because I had a sore throat. Before we knew it, the cabin doors were locked and we were pushing back without delay. Just listen to the sound of those engines.
EVA provides a very nice set of Abu Jan pajamas which you can keep. I'm really digging the pattern on those pants. Here's the blanket that I mentioned earlier. It feels very high quality and I used it throughout the flight. Because it is a red-eye flight, the meal was served very soon after departure. I was really impressed by EVA's meal service presentation, including this beautiful tablecloth. It's these little details that really set EVA apart. The meal started off with two bite-sized hors d'oeuvres, followed by a pan-seared prawn appetizer, both of which were really good. The main course, which I had selected in advance, was a really high-quality seafood truffle risotto. To finish off the meal, I had a cup of hot tea, a fruit platter, and a cherry cheesecake. At this point, I have already changed into my PJs, so I can relax during the flight. After the meal, I got the turndown service to give my seat some extra padding in preparation for bed. The seat can easily be adjusted using these intuitive seat controls on the side. One thing I do love about EVA is how on point their cabin mood lighting is. I especially love the ceiling full of stars. After waking up from a nap, I ordered a matcha milk tea and then checked out some of their other amenities. Here are the noise cancelling headphones. And here's EVA's Ramoa amenity kit, which is a cool metallic blue color. It looks like a miniature version of the Ramoa luggage. The contents include a toothbrush set, a comb, socks, lotion, lip balm, earplugs, and a microfiber cloth. As I love to collect airline memorabilia, I asked the crew for some postcards and a pen. They not only gave me that, but also a deck of cards, as well as some EVA literature packs. We're about halfway through our flight, in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Let's take this time to check out the IFE, called Star Gallery. I would say the selection of Western movies is a bit limited compared to other offerings like on Cathay or Emirates. While the IFE is touchscreen, it can also be controlled via this remote controller docked on the side. Over here you have the standard reading lamp with different brightness settings. And of course you also have your universal power outlet and some connectivity ports for connecting devices to the IFE. Again, the seat controls are very easy to access and are pretty intuitive. The tray table swivels out from a latch here. And folds out for more surface area. The TV screen also swivels out and can be secured back into the seat in front of you. The armrest on the side can be stowed and raised by the push of a button. Greetings from the washroom. Here's a quick tour of the washroom in the business cabin. It's very clean and features amenities including toothbrushes, mouthwash, moist towels, as well as Harn moisturizers, facial mist, and cologne. One of my favorite things to do mid-flight when everyone is asleep is to raid the galley for some mid-flight snacks. EVA does not disappoint with their snacks, and I wish I'd grabbed a couple more packs. As we drew closer to North America, the cabin started to wake up as the arrival meal was being prepared. The mood lighting turned into this fiery sunset glow, which really set the mood right. I first ordered a stir-fried rice noodle with shredded pork and veggies, followed by shrimp bomb noodle soup. Our evening arrival into YVR was perhaps one of the most stunning night views I've ever seen from a plane, so I'm going to stop talking and let you enjoy our approach into a very photogenic Vancouver.
After this flight on EVA, I can confidently say it is one of my new favorite airlines to fly. EVA gets so many things right, from the comfort of the seat, to the hospitality of the crew, to the amazing quality of the food, makes it a very competitive product all around. I love the fact you get pajamas in business class, and I'll definitely be bringing the Remoa kit on my future travels. The only thing I wasn't too impressed with was the IP selection, but other than that, it's easy to see why EVA is ranked in the top 5 airlines in the world for 2018. Well that's a wrap for this one. Once again, thanks for joining me and I hope you enjoyed this cinematic experience aboard EVA. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you aren't already, and hit the bell icon to be notified when we post new videos. This trip report is also available on our blog, onemoreweekbego.com. As always, thanks for watching, happy travels, and see you in the next one.